All glory given to the magnificent Holy One of Israel, Yah. All glory given to Yah. All glory given to His might. All glory given to His will. All glory given to His worth. All glory given to His righteousness. All glory given to His desires. All glory give to his will, family, for he is the only one who is worthy, the Holy One of Israel. Blessed be Yah's name, the Lord of hosts, and Yeshua's precious name forever. Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in Yeshua's precious name. What's good, family? I'm up over here, and I can't say that I forgot to charge my phone, but I got it set here, and it's by the charger, but... You know what I'm saying? I got to be like a hawk all up on this phone so I can get this message done, family. You hold down, sit down in the sanctuary with your brother Jehoshaphat Israel in the sanctuary. Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in Yeshua precious name. What is good, family? What is good, family? It is your brother Jehoshaphat. And I don't know, family. I don't know, family. It's like... We're going to go through lessons today, family. You know how your brother is, family. You know I got to talk to you for a second, family. You and the family. So you go ahead and sit down and relax, family. And special shouts out to all my brothers and sisters across this world who has been coming to this 9 o'clock prayer hour. Peace and blessings be upon you all in Yeshua precious name, for he is our Lord, Master, and Savior. All glory given to Yah, for he is the only one who is worthy. Thank you, family, for being with us at this 9 o'clock prayer hour. You know you in my prayers. You know you in my prayers, and you know I'm going to be praying about you in... It's all real over here, family. I don't I don't know about the other people who lied to you, family. But when you come on this side right here, you know what I'm saying? You're getting something real and you're getting some genuine love for Yah. You know what I'm saying? You know what this love is. You, you Don't you see your other brothers and sisters that can really demonstrate it because they really are doing it, family? They really do love Yah, family. I told you, you can't imitate this. You can't fake it. You can't do none of that. If you either love Yah or you don't, family. And I love them. And I'm terrified of him at the same time, family. I love your father, but I need him too, family. I reached that point in my life to where I was like, you know what? I need, I need y'all. You know what I'm saying? I need him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about everybody else. They don't need, I couldn't even, family, I couldn't even make it out the day if I didn't have y'all with me like that. I don't, I don't go through my, my life and my, my day, my 24 hours, my weekly time, my monthly time without y'all. That would be horrible, family. You'd be like, you'd be like, oh, brother, what you mean that be horrible? I live my life every single day. I don't have y'all with me. What's so great about having y'all in your life? Family is great. It's, it's wonderful, family. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I be worrying about y'all, family. You think I'm playing with you? You know what I'm saying? I be checking my list, checking it twice because I know that Yahshua is watching me, family. We ain't talking about no damn Christmas time story, none of that fake stuff, family. You know what I'm saying? And with him in my life, I get good sleep at night because I know he's watching me. I know he's protecting me. I know he's doing every single thing that he can do for me, family, because I'm trying to be in his will of everything that he is asking me to do as his child, family, down here upon this earth. It's all about y'all in my own personal life, family. The most important thing is for you to be loving on y'all and not giving up on him, family. So many different people, as they look at their week, they're not rocking with God like that, family. It's going to take some time before they get there, family. Family, who, what, what Chinese gangsters stole Bruce Lee's body, family, in the, all in the cemetery, family? Was it a demon? Did you see the, the first movie they made of Bruce Lee, family? Did you see it, family? You know what I'm saying? You see the demons, you know what I'm saying? Those was real demons, family. You know what I'm saying? They knew the names and everything. They was telling you the demon that was stalking them people, family. Did you see it in the movie, family? They told you, family. Now, what what, what one of these Chinese gangsters done stole Bruce Lee's body? That's some cold business right there, family. Don't do it. To, that'd be like, that'd be like, that'd be like they digging up Martin Luther King. Why would you do it, family? Everybody knew who Martin Luther King was. They knew what he did, family. What else is in news to me? You know what I'm saying? Because I be looking at news too, family. I really do, family. I really do. What, what, what else? I told you they, they digged up poor Bruce Lee and stole his body. That's cold-blooded, family. You, you know what's so priceless to me, family? Is when when the uh when the white dude he was at the airport he was like no no don't treat me like a black person don't put your hands on me don't put your hands on me oh oh it hurts oh it hurts so bad oh it's so much pain oh you 
treating me like a black person? And you know the police, you know the police they was all sitting up over there talking about, stop resisting, stop resisting, stop resisting, you're treating me like a black person. And then, and then, I told you, family, that's priceless, family. That's priceless. That's my creme de la. When I see stuff like that at the airport, family, if you could only imagine how bad your brother Fat Boy Fish, I'm sorry, I'm jo- we in the sanctuary. You can only imagine how Jehoshaphat Israel was laughing, family. That's priceless to me, family. That's my, my creme de la, family. You know what I'm saying? That's the icing on the cake, family. You know what I'm saying? With a little bit of milk, too, family. It's the icing, what, what we live for, family. I'm trying to tell you, family. So you had him, he was all in there like, oh no, the police stop resisting, don't hit me. Oh, they, they, they hit me, they, they don't shoot me. If you think that's bad, Mr. White Man, <laughs> I'm just saying, family, if they think that's bad, family, the police was actually talking to him, family. And you can actually hear him more than the police, family. You can actually hear him more. I, me? I already know, family. Wait, we live in California. I don't even have to show them the ID, and they still be asking. They be breaking all your laws. I don't, I don't understand why people think they got laws and stuff like that. I don't understand that, family. I don't know, family. I just don't know. They say it's up in there, and then black people, shame on you, blacks. Shame on my Israelites out there. Shame, 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 shame on you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look at this. 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 Now, you know them people think that they the chosen people. You know that, right? You know they think that they the chosen people. But if they was the chosen people, why do they have a double standards in their law towards our people? Just think about that. This is how you know, family. Okay, now. If they was the chosen people, they would have to treat everybody according to their law. Whatever their law books, they have to be fairly with everybody. Anybody who is a foreigner inside of your gates, we all have the same law. But far as Negroes here in America, oh, these Negroes, they don't get it. They don't get it. You got double standard. You got double standard. You get the whole book beat with you. You get the whole book just thrown at you, family, and you still don't understand, family, what you in, family. It's because you the chosen children. Look, they say they the chosen children, but they don't treat you like them, family. They throw that whole book at you, family. They be doing all kind of stuff to your people out here, family. They be tearing us up, family. Got your people scared, family. They don't know if they put their hands up, put their hands down, put their foot out the window, start screaming. Ain't nobody going to help them, but they don't know what to damn do, family. They trying everything. They be like, man, he just reached for his wallet. They shot him 57 times. It was an orange wallet, Jehoshaphat. I was like, damn, brother, I feel, I'm here too. I feel you shocked. I'm here too. I don't know what to do. <laughs> And damn, they don't want to shoot your fight, shoot your fight. You don't know, family. You don't know, family. But with your people, family, you, you see that it's this double standards when it comes to the law. And your people, they're not getting in on that. They're getting in on it on the opposite end of getting they butt handed to them, family. Straight up, family. And them people say that they the people. I, I, don't, I don't get it, family. I don't, I don't, I don't get that, family. Not even a little bit. What else is the news? It's just been so much to to your people to where I don't I don't understand why is it that sisters they don't understand they gonna have to get a brother in their life then you gonna have to get a strong brother. What well, well, what is it, sister? You know what I'm saying? I already told you don't be messing with them trifling Hebrews. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, family. I don't care, family. Any trifling Negro, because when I say Hebrews, I mean all y'all. You know what I'm saying? All of us, because that what we is, family. And then they be all like. Why you tell your sisters that, Jehosa? Because I don't want to mess with no trifling dude. He, come on, sister. You know he trifling. I don't understand my sisters out there of Zion. I just don't understand. Look, 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 look. Now, the brother you supposed to have hope in, you don't even have hope in him. You have hope in the, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, look, 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 look. When some sisters look at you, look at, when you be looking at other dudes, Sister, are you listening? I'm talking to you. Sister, when you be looking at some of them dudes, you be fantasizing your little prince, your little shining prince and and armor and all of that. But you do that to the wrong damn dude, sister. You know what I'm saying? He don't even have no damn potential like that. You, okay, the dude you should see something in, 
You don't even mess with him. You know what I'm saying? You don't even mess with him. You look at a dude that you see something in him, but it ain't none of that true, sister. You've been lied to. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of that true of what you see in that dude right there. It ain't nothing. He done showed you time and time again. They be like, Jehosa, Jehosa, yeah, you, you, you hating, brother. You really hating, brother. That's my sisters out there. They gonna have to wake up. I told them. I told them. It's some high, It's some trifling Negroes out there. It is some trifling Negroes out there. They get all mad at me. Oh, oh, you told my girl to stop letting me drive your, her car. The, yeah, yeah, you don't put no tune up. They looking mad all evil at me. Y'all, she don't let me drive it no more. Negro, Negro, you done got her car took five times this year. She can't keep on getting her car off the damn toe. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. You don't even try to put a tune up on it and it costs nine. $18. That's two baggies of weed. Hebrew, get get out of get out of here with that. You know what I'm saying? Go get all mad at him. I'm mad at him. I'm mad at he telling me that I better become a man and start taking care of this woman. Put some rings on. You damn right I told you that. Put some rings on her finger and man up and be a man. You know what I'm saying? Protect that woman. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what they doing to him? I don't understand why my sisters don't understand that it's... It, are you seeing what's going on out here? You need a, a strong black man in your life. You need a strong Hebrew in your life, girl. You know what I'm saying? To protect you and all of those things. I know you got your brothers and stuff and all of that. I already know that. So I know you got your cousins and all of them. But you need a strong Hebrew in your life. You really do. All the time. You know what I'm saying? They go over the go over there and get tricked. I'll be seeing my brothers give in to so much throwing away all they and my brothers and sisters throwing away their inheritance. Just cast it asunder, family. Just cast it asunder. I was thinking today, I was like, man, if we keep this up. Everybody going to have our damn inheritance. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to have... We ain't even got to worry about y'all picking nobody. We down here picking people, family. We down here picking and picking all the wrong dang people. Now, flip it back again. Let me talk to my sisters. Listen. Sis. Sis. Are you listening to your brother, Jehoshua? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jehoshua. Yeah, you be kind of hard on me and I... Sister, but I do it out of love. Sister, who else going to tell you the truth? Now, listen. You up over there, and you looking at dude, and whatever you see up in him, I'm telling you, sister, it's it's not even there. It's not even there. It's like it's like it's like you imagining what he could be, but he never gonna be none of those things. So why are you messing with him like that? And then the dude, all those things that you want in another dude, he got all them things. You can't even see him in it. I don't even know what's going on with my sisters out there. I don't even know what's going on with him. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is double. It's double. So we got to really, you got you to gotta really, but then it shouldn't be that, it shouldn't be that hard for our people. But all right, I'll leave it alone. But then again, let me get on my brothers since I got on my sisters. Let me get on my brothers. Brothers, 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 brothers. Women will never change. Brother is just like. I'm sorry, family. They're just going to be doing the same things forever, just like a man. You know what I'm saying? So your father, he told you, he said, if you really want to know what a woman is and what she can do to you and all, all the horror that she can do to you is for you to read his word because it's going to tell you, family. I'm knowing, family. I'm knowing about a woman, family. I really do. Yeah, They can't break my heart. You know what I'm saying? They can't lie to me. They can't cheat. They can't do none of those things, family. I already told you. I start talking about a real righteous woman and how she supposed to act. Half of the, half of the sisters just take off running because they've been Americanized in their head. They're American. They're Americanized, but they Hebrews. That ain't working for them. You know what I'm saying? I, I was driving. I was driving down the damn street today, family. Brothers, are you listening to me? And I was thinking to myself. I was like, man, look at all my sisters out here. They got all that damn fake ass hair. But I said it. I said it because y'all hair is beautiful, and you put that fake stuff up in your hair. Why is you messing with them people like that? Your natural hair is beautiful. I don't care how how long. How I, it can be thin, and I don't care. You, my sister. We got to show our people love. Forget what they talking about. We love you. You know what I'm saying? We love y'all head. You know what I'm saying? And all of the various different styles. If it's short, if it's long, if it's nappy, if it's kinky, whatever you want to call it. Sister, we love it. So I don't understand. So as I was driving down the street and I was seeing all the daughters of Zion with all this fake stuff in their head, family. It just, it just made me feel so damn ashamed, family. Like, why, family? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? So I...
I don't even know, brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know, fam. It hurts, family. It hurts me. You know what I'm saying? It hurts me to see my sisters will put all that stuff up in her head. You know what I'm saying? Put all that. Girl, do you know you're beautiful just the way you is? Damn. Why everybody want to be something that they not? Do you have to be all that just to be your damn self? Do you know yourself is all beautiful? I don't get it, family. I don't get it, and I don't understand. Brothers, do you hear me? Brother, put your hand up. You have been blessed in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Now, so I'm telling you, brother... It's like, it's nothing that they can do. It's nothing, no type of game. It's nothing that they can try to hide or nothing. Family, he done taught me everything about a woman. And after y'all teaches you about a woman, you know what I'm saying? It really makes you open your eyes to like, what woman are you looking for? What type of woman are you looking for? You know what I'm saying? I was thinking today, I know a lot about y'all. Yeah, so my, my wife, I'm not going to sit there and, and teach her all the stuff that I know like that. I can't do that. That's too much, family, to take too long, family. And y'all said that you cannot be unevenly yoked. That's what he said, family. So what does that mean, Jehosa? She got to know as much as I do, family. I can't, I can't sit here and train a woman up again. I don't have time like that. I'm not going to be wasting my time like that again. Brothers, do you hear me? Put your hands up. I'm talking to you. You've been blessed again. I don't have time to train anybody like that. She has to be the full package. They come up with every single thing that Yah has put up in this woman to be a righteous, virtuous woman in this world. Hallelujah, family. I don't got time like that. I can't sit up here. With her, and then sit all this time. Now, now, uh, now I'm teaching her how to be a woman. I'm tired of doing that, family. I'm tired, brother. Aren't you tired of doing that? Uh, teaching these women how to be right women? Aren't you tired of that? You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. I can't do it no more, family. And some of my sisters, they be like, Oh, Jehoshua, what do you mean, brother? You have to teach her. You have to teach her. Yes, yes, sister. Yes, yes. So many of them. And I'm getting old and I'm getting tired. They should... I can't do it no more, family. I can't I can't train them up like that no more. And then after what y'all said, he said, he said, don't be unevenly yoked. What does that mean? She got to know the same thing you doing, brother. She got to be doing the same thing you doing, brother. So I can't do it, family. And I know a whole lot, family. So this woman is a whole lot smart. You know what I'm saying? She know a whole lot. She knows so much that the what she knows is going to make me even stronger, family. So yeah, family. She know a lot about y'all, family. We know a lot about y'all together, family. I told you. He told you to tell him what you want. That's what he said, family. So look at this, brother. If you really, if you really want to know what a woman is, just listen to your brother long enough. I'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? But you should already know, family. You should already. There's so many different. Okay, now you got the modern woman and everything that she's about and all of that stuff. But that's still no differently from a woman in the past of what they want because they only have so much. She only got so much, family. She only got two legs. She only got two arms. She only got two eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? It's only so much she wants, family. So it's only so much of a woman that she can type of beat. And what your brother told you, I'm not even messing with females that's showing off their body no more. I can't even do it, family. She can, that, that daughter, she, the daughter of Zion, she can look good all she wants. That doesn't matter to me because she's beautiful on the outside. So that shows me that she's a horrible woman on the inside. What is she hiding? You know what I'm saying? What is she hiding, family? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I Let's put it like this, family. I'm checking five, six days a week, family. If I see her dressed up like a like a freak on one of the days, none of them five count for nothing. And you'd be like, oh, oh, Jehosa, you so cold. Oh, Jehosa, you so cold. But man, look, look at that, brother. You know what I'm saying? Okay, she was a good girl for, for five days, brother. She was a good girl for five days. On the sixth day, she got her face painted up and she was dressed. She was dancing like she liking it. She was out there in the world. You can You can have her. You can have her. I'm not Joe Hop. I'm not him. I'm not the prophet Joe Hop. You seen what y'all made him do. Y'all made him marry a prostitute. This prostitute kept on cheating on this man. You know what I'm saying? And he still took her back, family. This man up up in the house raising children that he don't even know if it's his family. Can you imagine this brother from the beauty, from the most beautiful? That's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why. And, and then some brothers, they be all like, well, well, Jehosa, yeah, she not that beautiful. Shoot. Who you talking to, brother? She is. The, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And pfft, I'm telling you right now, family. Some of these girls be a five, but they be a ten, family. Straight up, family. Do you know what that means? She be a five, family. But she be a 10, hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? She be a 5, but she be a 10, family. I put a 20 on it. 
You know what I'm saying? All beautiful and all that. And family, she got it together. Family, she actually got a brain. Family, it's not on them things in the worlds. I told you about them pretty girls. They just keep on chasing them damn cars, family. Like like Frisbee. You throw the Frisbee out. That's the world, family. And then she pretty and everything. And she wagging her tail and everything. But she just going to go out there and chase them damn cars, family. That's them, 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 them 12s and them 13s and them 14s. I'm cool. I'm cool, family. I'm looking for me a 5, but a 14 on the inside. Hallelujah, family. Because you be sitting up over there thinking she a 5. And your brother tell you right now that she's a 10. Hallelujah, family. So, yeah, you keep on listening to your brother long enough. I, I mean, but then again, you know me. You know me. I, didn't I tell you, family? She already looking at you. You know what I'm saying? She already looking at you. The female over there looking at you for like a price tag. You don't need her, brother. She out there in the world, family. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I wanted it, but I wanted it, money. See, 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 you seen what came out? You start flashing them dollars, and they came out on you, family. All I have to do is dress real good, and I have every single eye turn on me like that. You know what I'm saying? Every female in the world. Oh, my God, who is this? Oh, he's so good. You look so good. It's because it's all about them things, family. And, 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 and what you really need. That's not it. Them things is not it. You need faith. You can't buy that. You know what I'm saying? You need a loyalty. You cannot put a price tag on that, family. It's like for infinite dollar. You can have all the shekels you want. You know what I'm saying? You can have them shekels all of you want. You can have all them plates of silver all of you, all of you want, family. That don't mean nothing, family. You can have that platinum diamond cow, baby. And it don't mean nothing, family. You can have them CDs upon CDs, and that stuff is worth 50000 a CD. It doesn't mean nothing, family, because you still won't be able. You can have all of Donald Trump's paper. And it still wouldn't be able to pay off for some loyalty. Can you believe this, family? Can you get with your brother Jehoshaphat Israel? I'm telling you, you looking for them females who know how to have that faith with them. Because for they walk with Yah. Hallelujah. You need a sister that don't need to show her body off. That wants to show off her mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear me, brother? I got to say it again. I got to say it again, brother. Listen, 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 brother. Listen, listen. You want a woman... That knows how to show off her mind in a good way because you got some of them out there. And I ain't going to call them no names, but she a wench. And I tell you that she's a wench. You know what I'm saying? She's a wench. But she know how to use her mind. Good family. Not the wench family. She be putting you down. She all smart putting you down, making you feel stupid. I'm not talking about the wench. I'm talking about the one that knows how to use her mind and show it off to be an asset, to be a benefit to your cause, family. And she's walking with the loyalty and faith. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Them, them, them pretty girls chasing the world, they don't know nothing about that, brother. I'm telling you that this world right here, she all pretty and she all nice and everything like that. But... They in the world, so the world uses them up, family. She only got a certain amount of time. It's like it's like Back to the Future Part 3 and 2, family. Every time he kept on going in the future looking at his, at his mama, she was looking just a little bit older. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit older. The world will suck you up like a turnip. And and they not, they not just chasing the world, family. They're not just walking after the world all casually. They're chasing it, family. They chase, they running. <laughs> come back here, world. Come back here. I need you. <laughs> I gotta have you well, please. Please come back here. I need to have to make myself feel pretty. Mm-mm. Turns her into pretty damn ugly. Family, it uses them up. Family, I'm trying to tell you. All that makeup, all that stress, all that trying to be better than them funky foul sisters across the street. It adds up, family. Walking real hard, the hard in them hills, family. It adds up of being a... I ain't won't say it, family. I won't say it, but you know the word I want to. But being like that, it adds up and it takes its toll. And the world just sucks them up, family. It just sucks them up dry, family. So you look at her now. And 15 years from now, she won't even look like that. She will look like her mother. And you won't even want her, brother. I done seen it happen several times, brother. Several times. The old men, the old men, they be all like, Jehosa, Jehosa, you know. She going to look just like her mama. I said, no, 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 no. You, Mr. Peterson, Mr. Smith, Smith and Knights, uh, Johnson Knights, uh, <laughs> William Knights, uh, with Mr. Williams. What you saying, Mr. Williams? Mr. Turner, what you saying? She going to look just like her mama. Her mama weighed 300 pounds and she not even working out and she loves butter. What is it say, Jehosa? I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> all the older men, all the, they telling me family. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. 
Jehosa. Hold up, family. Let me get my water. I'm still here, family. Sister, you sitting up over there spending all your money in him. Do you know that you spending all... Why do you buy him Nikes all the time? He ain't even worth the Nikes he got on, sister. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even buy them shoes. How he gonna be a man if he can't even buy his own... I hate you, nigga! I hate you, nigga! It's my birthday, nigga! We was going to the strip club! Nigga, I told you, nigga. I'm finna get her away from you. Sister! Sister! A man has to take pride in what he does or he will not be a full man. Telling you like that. So you buying them all. Or you keep them all nice and stuff. You took your family pictures and everything. You bought that man everything in, on your body. So y'all can look together and everything like that. You be buying them clothes like that. It ain't even It ain't even your pagan Easter, Christmas, or nothing like that. And you still be buying them stuff. You bought him that damn Xbox. You bought him that damn video games. You bought him all that damn stuff. You put money up in his damn pocket. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? What is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I do, Jehovah. I do. I don't make him work. Sister, is he at least cleaning the damn house? Nope. Is he um okay? He's not cleaning the house. Is he? Is he? Is he making the dinner? You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, fam. Did, sister, did you see him looking for applications today? Jehovah, he wasn't even looking for applications. He's trifling, sister. He's trifling, sister. Is he, is he, he's trifling. He, look at that. Look at that. He done had all day to smoke weed and play Xbox in his boxes, and he couldn't make dinner. Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. I couldn't do it. I could, I, 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 your brother, I couldn't take full advantage of you like that. You know what I'm saying? At least you come home to a clean house. And at least, I, at least I, okay, I, I would be lying. I, I didn't fill out the whole application, but I did half of it. You've seen half the effort. He can't even do that either. The porch is not swept off. It's not even swept off, girl. It's not even. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Did he check the mail? Didn't even check the damn mail. I can't even believe this, sister. You still putting up with this trifling man, and you think he going to get better? How are you going to get better? Now, sister, I'm going to get real with you right now. I'm going to get real with you now. Now, your cousins and them told him. Your cousins and them told him that they would hook him up on a job and it's not even good enough for him. Who is you playing with? Leave him alone. Leave him alone. He ain't no good for you, sister. I hate you, Jehovah. I ain't got nowhere to go. It's time for you to be a man, brother. I've been a man ever since I was a little kid. I had to get up on my own. You know what I'm saying? It, it was like the movie Friday. It's two things you could have had there. You either going to go to school or you going to get a job. Which one you going to do, brother? You know what I'm saying? Because that's the options I had. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you choose to go to work, that means you're going to pay some damn rent. You know what I'm saying? That means you're going to have some your own paper, your own money, with your own time. So that builds who you is, from Ipes. You, you talking to a man who used to throw the paper. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? And, and so I used to do all kind of stuff for money. You know what I'm saying? Is he at least hustling, sister? And I don't mean the bad way because you don't need them people looking at your house. You don't even need them people looking at your house. You know what I'm saying? If he's going to hustle, he needs to hustle out there. You know what I'm saying? I need him home. I need him home. But you dragging that eye over to you. You know what I'm saying? You got, now you got the police looking at you and your babies. I'm telling you, that's how people, that's how they start. Then the next time you see them, they be on Crime Stoppers, family. They be up on Crime Stoppers. You be looking at them. You be like, oh, that's Mike. Oh, that's Ted. Oh, that's Gina. That look just like Gina. 75 turn her ass in. <laughs> That's how it starts, sister. I'm trying to tell you. you know what I'm saying you give in a little bit, he take a little bit more. You give in a little bit, he take a little bit more. Next thing you know, the police is kicking in your door, sister. You don't even need that. You know what I'm saying? You don't even need that. You know what I'm saying? And then, to tell you the truth, for all my single people out there, y'all, you need your your time alone with God. You really do. You know what I'm saying? You. you it, okay, now you with that person, but you don't really have intimate time alone because I sorry to say this, you're gonna get married to that person and stay with them forever. Now, if you could stay with that person forever, then you'll learn God the way that you need to right now. And he needs your time alone, family. You know what I'm saying? You need that time alone with him right now. You know what I'm saying? So 
it's a good time. You know what I'm saying? It's a good time for you right now to learn your father and get to know him, his ends, his nose, his butts, what he going to do. Like all the thing I be telling y'all. Half of them people, they don't believe me, but he's going to do it to them anyway. You know what I'm saying? He's going to do it to them anyway. You know what I'm saying? Even Okay, okay. Just look at me and all the stuff that I be talking about, family. God is going to do that to a person either. They know it or they don't, family. Straight up, family. And they know it, so you know what he's going to do to them. Now, brother, it's like... It's like I can't I can't get fought up in them traps like that. You know what I'm saying? They look at me and they be like, Oh, well, Jehosa, you up over there and and, and you choking yourself with the celibacy rope. You got the celibacy rope tied around your neck, brother, and it's just choking you to death. But family, family, you ain't even supposed to be giving into sex sex anyway. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Your brother, I told you I practice abstinence over here. A lot of people can't do that, family. They cannot. You know what I'm saying? They cannot. These terms and these things actually mean something. Just because the world is a certain way doesn't mean God wants you that way. Doesn't mean y'all want you that way at all. Just because the world has taught you that it's okay to be that way doesn't mean that it's okay. So who 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 am I trying to be more like? Am I trying to be more like this world? Or am I trying to be like the way my father is asking me to do, family? Which one is it? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you right now, it means everything to me. You know what I'm saying? It means something to me, family. What? Okay, last week we was talking about sacrifice. We was talking about sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. What are you sacrificing? Just to show him something. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going to want to see something. And if you can't be noble and you can't be a just and you can't be like he wants you to be, then how can he show you? How How is it that you could show him anything? You can't, family. Now, I had to, I, I'm sorry, family, too, because I had to go on my tangent on relationships and what your brother think. You know what I'm saying? What I think and how I feel about it because I told you I'm not playing no games like that. I practice abstinence, family. For real, it, it's like, it's like okay, now, them people told you to be a skank. That's a skank, family. You know what I'm saying? That's a skank. If you, if, if like, like look at this week right here. If you didn't, oh, it's, it's barely Tuesday. If you didn't already this week had sex with somebody you really don't know, that means that you are promiscuous. I'm sorry. I can't do it, family. I'm not saying that I wasn't. I'm not saying that at one point that I didn't see that it was nothing wrong with that, family. But you grow in God, family, and you learn. You learn that your father does not want you being out there like that at all. Now relationships it be it should be taken slow if this if this man sister ain't willing to take it slow with you then how you gonna have a longevity of a relationship if he's supposed to be there for the whole time you know what i'm saying does that even make any sense to you you know what i'm saying he trying to push things trying to move things fast hold up hold up hold up, hold up. if you really gonna be here in my life we can take things slow you know what i'm saying listen to me brother just listen to that you know what i'm saying if you really gonna be with that girl why are you rushing anything See, your brother, I had to find out the uh, the hard way when I was out there being a so-called African-American family. Straight up, family. When you are African-American and you are Christian, you just don't think. You don't think the way that y'all wants you to think, family. I didn't see nothing wrong with just having sex with all them women like that. I didn't see nothing wrong like that. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't, family. I got divorced and I was trying to have his sex with as many as women as I possibly. I lost my damn mind, family. Put your hands up. It's Jehosa Yah in the building, family. I came to bring you the truth, family. I'm not going to be up here sugarcoating nothing or lying to nobody. Why? 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 When I could teach you to be better than what I was. When I had to pay and when I was suffering from things that I didn't know that I was doing. Now listen, family, I got divorced and lost my damn mind. Family, I was trying to have sex with every girl I seen, family. As soon as she said she wanted that, but I did not see anything wrong with that. I told you Christianity didn't work for me like that, family. It was like when you roll with fake Jesus, you can do anything that you want. I knew it was wrong with me just having sex, but I did not see it like that, family. I had to find out who I am for me to even see it like that, family. It's like when you a Christian, you locked up in a box and you got that you got partial the partial truth right there of what you're supposed to be doing, but you're not doing it, family. I had to come out of being a Christian to actually do everything that Bible says to do, family. As long as I was as long as I was a so-called 
African American Christian Southern Baptist. As long as I was those things, I was sinning, family. I was giving up. Yahshua could have rolled up on me at any time and it would have been a wrap because I was just giving back into it. We're not giving into no sin like that. Yeah, it's hard, family. You don't think the girls, let's put it like this. Let's put it like this. Females throw sex at me just because they know they can't have sex to me. Do you know how irritating? Do you know how hard that is, family? You got this fine female, you know what I'm saying, looking at you like a piece of candy and she want to have sex with you, but then you know that's wrong. I pull up, I pull, I will pull up on you just like just like a uh, Zeph Panea. What did he tell the mistress? You know before my God, this is wrong. I can't do that. I know God watching me, family. I can't do it, family. God watching me, family. Just like, just, okay, now look at Joseph. Yes, I'm comparing myself to Joseph. I feel the same way, family. Look at this. Joseph was scared, family. I'm scared, family, straight up. I can't, I can't do it, family. That's not my wife. I can't do it. She better be my wife. Because I tell you, I'm, whoo. Y'all let me put my hand on her. Y'all let me put my hand on her. Brother. <laughs> I am Mr. Israel. This is Brother Israel up over here. Now look. Joseph was scared. He didn't want to get in trouble with his God. That lady was attractive, family. She was not ugly, family. She was a beautiful cougar, family. Beautiful, family. You know what I'm saying? A beautiful cougar in her age, but she was wild. She was not wild. You know what I'm saying? She was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Sister, you know what I'm saying? But I know some cougars right now, family. I told you, sisters right now, when, when the sisters, when the older sisters see me, they call me sir. They let me know straight up, yeah, you can get this. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but beautiful, 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 beautiful sister, right? And Joseph, he was scared. He was scared of God because he didn't want to, he didn't want to offend God. He didn't want to offend his master and he didn't want to be disrespectful. But Joseph was still a man. You know what I'm saying? He was still a man and he thought about it, family. You know what I'm saying? It, it was not like it wasn't tempting. You know what I'm saying? It was not like it wasn't. He ain't never had a woman like that. You know what I'm saying? Then had this beautiful 40-year-old sister. Th I mean, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You can only imagine how hot this this, this sheavers was. You know what I'm saying? This tigress. You know what I'm saying? Hot, family. You know what I'm saying? It'll burn my damn fingers, family. Burnt my damn fingers. She was so damn hot, family. Now, look, 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 look. I'm telling you, our sisters be out there. They be they be fine, family. I know they older. You know what I'm saying? I know they in their 40s and their 50s and stuff and whatnot, but they fine, family. I'm, I, I got to put my hand up in the air, family. It's up, family. I'm trying to tell you, family. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel, family. It's like, I feel just like, like Joseph feel, family. I'm not trying to disrespect God up over here. And for me to disrespect God would be me to give in to my lust of my own temptation. And that's already too much sin for me, family. It's too much, family. It is, family. It is. And they'd be like, they'd be like, oh, Jehoshaphat, that's too hard. That's too hard. Because the world has taught you that it's okay, family. That's what the world told you. It's okay. And it's not, family. I told you, me being a Christian family, I got divorced, family. I ain't never, I ain't never went after so many different women in my damn life, family. I was on the prowl, family. I was straight up cave hunt, man hunter. I was like, I'm free. I'm free. I was mad. I, I was free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm finally free. She free. I gotta get out of the way. Get out of the way from me. Uh, 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 now. I didn't even call myself Jehoshua Yah Israel. I was just calling myself Fat Boy Fish. <laughs> it was just fat. <laughs> and fat wanted him some women, family. And fat wanted him some whole lot of women, family. Fat went crazy, family. Fat went crazy. Fat went on a buffet. A buffet, family. A buffet, I'm trying to tell you. A buffet. And I told you, it's hard now. Females know. You know what I'm saying? Females know a man. And you do know that it's females that's on the prowl for your brother Joe. They know they can't. They know I'm not going to give them nothing. They know that. You know what I'm saying? They know I'm scared of y'all. They know I'm waiting on my wife. And it and it makes them want me even more better. So uh, your brother is going through it on that front, family. It's hard over here, family. I told you, I'm devilishly handsome up over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm a son of, you know what I'm saying? I'm a son of y'all family, you know what I'm saying? I got it going on up over here. They, they be like, you putting two cents on this, you putting two cents on that. But I told you don't be selfish. I told you don't be conceited. I'm not conceited. I'm just stating the obvious, okay, family? You got to have some, you got to have some self something, family. So it's harder for your brother not to give in 
to like these people in the world and just want sex and sex and sex and sex. I had to break myself of being, of being attractive to uh, family. I was in, I was in that life. So I was, uh, the only girl I, I was never attracted to a like a like a like a preppy girl. Oh, oh, Jehosa, I'm so smart. I did all my books. I, I so I got my GPA is four point oh. Uh, I'm a valedictorian student. I'm going to ca- no family. I was never. I was out in them damn streets, family. I told you what I was doing, family. I was attracted to a thug girl, family. About it, about it, baby. You know what I'm saying? I was attracted to a thug. I was attracted to a woman that can break in the cars and stuff, family. Straight up the bad girls, family, I was attracted to, family. And we all know that some bad girls dress like whores, family. I'm telling you, the charlatans, family. I'm telling you, they dress like charlatans, family. So that where my mind, I had to break myself of that mindset. You know what I'm saying? Now... Like your brother told you, now I'm um I'm, I'm attracted to females that would like to show off their brain instead of their body. You know what I'm saying? That actually means something. You know what I'm saying? To see a sister, and by all means, family. You know what I'm saying? The imagination might wonder, but she got on regular clothes. You know what I'm saying? She is super pretty up over there. You know what I'm saying? And she's not painted up or dressed it up like a. My sister up over here, I be getting mad, family. I be getting mad because I be seeing some of them. I be like, man, why you got all that damn stuff on your face? You know what I'm saying? I be seeing them. I be like, do you know? Okay, you keep on wearing that damn makeup, and one day you really going to need it. You know what I'm saying? I be telling them that. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I be thinking it. And then and then sometimes I get mad, and I say it to them, and I be like, well, you know, woman, sister, sister, you pretty. You don't need all that damn makeup on your face. Oh, thank you, Jehosa. But I really mean it inside of myself, family. I'm tired, family. I'm tired, family. I told you, family. I told you, family. I was driving around today, family. I just, I didn't think I was going to make it to the grocery store, family. I was all like, damn, look at all these sisters. And they put all that stuff on their head. Don't they know they're making me feel bad up over here? And they be like, y'all, I put anything else I want in my head. See, 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 see. That's the problem with some of our women's notice. I said some of them. Some of them. They feel like they ain't got to have no damn authority. It, it, it reminds me of young black men that's tearing it up in the street. They think that they ain't got no damn authority, fam. They think that they don't have to have no authority over their head at all. And I'm sorry to say it. You're going to have to have some authority over you or you ain't going to make it. God ain't even going to recognize you like that. God going to look at you like, okay, now, and then a woman, the only way she can have authority over her is by a man. You know what I'm saying? Is by a man. And she going to have that. that she going to have to have it. Or she ain't going to have no protection. She ain't going to have no power. She ain't going to have none of that. You know what I'm saying? And the spiritual, it rolls right back to the physical. And we've been talking about it tonight. You know what I'm saying? Haven't we? You know what I'm saying? It rolls back down. Okay, now, that was in the spiritual we talk about. But it still rolled into the, the physical realm of what's happening to my sisters. And it's sad. It's sad, family. It's sad. So they, they don't think... That they they don't have to have no authority over them like that, and then then you got then you got all these these and I don't understand my sisters. It's like you knew he you knew they called him a pretty boy. They called him pretty boy Ricky. You knew he would break your damn heart. What you didn't think he was gonna break yours? I don't I don't understand that. You know you knew he what he did to you. And then some of them people, they be all like. Well, I wanted to date. I wanted to date my my homeboy, his girl, just because he wasn't. It's some just some scandalous people out there, family. It really is. But if you would, if you not with nobody right now, you you are truly blessed. You be like, you be like, Jehosa, why am I blessed for, brother? I, I, been, I need some love in my life, Jehosa. What are you talking about? This is like curse, brother. Right now, you have a chance to actually. Open up to Yah, to learn Yah, to understand Yah, to trust in Yah, and that. It's something that you can't buy. You can't get that nowhere else. You can't get it, family. Can't get it, can't buy it. And sad sad to say it, this might be a long time before he opened up another window to where you can spend some time with. I mean, some in-depth time. Family, I've had a lot of time on my hands with y'all. I have, family. I have, family. I would not throw myself out there like that, family. I'm sorry, family. I can't do it, family. I told you. Sisters, they be throwing themselves up to me all the time. You know what I'm saying? But but then the day I see a woman that, that knows Yah, that devotes her life to him, and we can we can start from there, family. You know what I'm saying? The day I know that, so I'm not I'm not sitting up here saying that. I'm just waiting for Yah's choice. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to make my own choice on that. I trust in Yah, family. He'll let me know when. 
know what I'm saying? That's why that's why it's hard for females to put a gag or put something on me like that. Be like, oh, oh, I could just I could just have him. No, you can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like them dudes that you know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like them. You ain't never met nobody like me before. Don't play with yourself like that. You know what I'm saying? Those things that that person won't don't even I wouldn't even bat an eye to it. You know what I'm saying? Because Look at look at look at what y'all wants out of out of any relationship. Jesus will tell you straight. Yahshua will tell you straight up. If that person ain't a faithful person, don't even mess with them. You don't want these people out here that's that's so much into this world, family. And like I said, I, I, I've had a lot of time to be with my Yah. You ever saying to understand my Yah to where I told y'all, family, I, I'm married to y'all, family. I make up the body of Yah family, of Yahshua family. I'm, I'm, I'm in it, family. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to. I don't. I'm not looking towards no other covenants or or nothing like that, family. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to. I don't have to do anything like that, family. All I have to do is trust and wait on my Yah family. And I told you, your brother, I learned you just don't jump into anything with anybody because you don't know if that person is for you like that, family. You would know. You you would know, believe me. You would know when that person is for you because you're going to have to sit there. See, that's the problems with people. They just rush into damn relationships. You know what I'm saying? They just rush in it. You know what I'm saying? Just rush into it. Okay, we today, we, we, we together today. Next month, we're having sex. That's a damn shame. You couldn't even wait till you got married, you know what I'm saying? Tomorrow, we are having sex, you know what I'm saying? That just let me know the relationship ain't going to work. It ain't going to make it, you know what I'm saying? And then he'd be like, then he'd be like uh, who, Jehosa, he going to have to get his sex somewhere. I'm trying to tell you right now, it's been a long time, a long time, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even lie on it like that anymore. Five years ago, I used to lie on it. You know what I'm saying? Just sit there and just lie on it. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Just to make myself feel better. I told you. I throw myself under the fire. I don't care, family. You're going to learn here today. You know what I'm saying? You're going to learn here today. This is not a game of no joke. When you come up over here, you're going to get some real peace and understand knowledge and wisdom, family. You know what I'm saying? Now, look. I don't even play with it like that. You know what I'm saying? So that 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 won't be something that would lure me into something that you need to take your time with. If that person is not willing to take their time, they don't have no faith, family. Do you hear me, brother? Do you hear me, brother? She was throwing out all them hints about how she wants to have sex. She kept on talking about sex and sex and sex. That's all she want, brother. You know what I'm saying? Well, as soon as they get old, as soon as you have sex with her enough many times... One of y'all is going to get tired of each other. I'm trying to tell you because it's built up on something that it doesn't need to be. You need that person putting that grind. What do you mean, Jehosa? What do you mean? I'm Shoot. Just because you spend time don't mean you got to have sex. It means you're spending time to get to know that person. If you can't be in a person's vicinity for a long period of time, you know what I'm saying? And and you just started with having sex with the passion, thinking that that wasn't going to work, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, you got to be friends first, family. I'm trying to be her friend, family, because if I can't if I can't be her friend, then how the hell am I going to be her husband? Then if I, then how the hell could I be her lover? You know what I'm saying? If I can't even be her friend, I got to learn how to be her best friend, the bestest of friends. I, she always come through there for me and be there for me when I need her the most, family. Wouldn't even hesitate, wouldn't even hesitate and would give it all in. So just because it's fine females, they go after me. They just go after me because they want sex with a person that they know they can't have. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I got you. That, that don't mean nothing. They beautiful. You brother, you got to hold on and be strong, brother. You know what I'm saying? You got to hold on and be strong. You know what I'm saying? That is more important to me. Sacrifice, family. Sacrifice, family. And then look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now, he doesn't want us having sex without our wives, and I'm not married, so that means that I can't have sex. So what does that mean to you? You know what I'm saying? He don't want you having sex with nobody if it's not your wife, and you not married, brother. So why are you over there messing with them girls like that? You know what I'm saying? Breaking their heart. You know you're not going to marry them. You might get them knocked up, but you know you're going to break their heart. You know what I'm saying? So, sister, why would you even allow that? You know what I'm saying? Why would you even allow that man to be like that? You know what I'm saying? To you, he's being fake. He's being phony, you know what I'm saying? So, as I look at any any relationship, it's, it's that, that big old time that you got to be putting in to be the bestest of friends. 
Because somewhere in, in y'all being the bestest of friends, you're going to fall in love. You know what I'm saying? That's how love is built. It's built through time and faith, family. And you can love to have sex with a person, but eventually that's going to die. You know what I'm saying? How many times did get you? Now, now you're having sex with a person that you hate. You know what I'm saying? It turns into hate with lust. You know what I'm saying? Straight up lust, family. Let me get up because I started to lay down on this video. I had a long day, family, a long day. And I learned when you when you dealing with say, no, nah, don't tell him, don't tell him, Jehovah, please don't tell him. Now, when you do, has, has, I give you anything, I give you anything. Please don't tell him nothing. Please don't tell him nothing by me because it's the truth. Yes, I'm going to tell you something else. Now, look at this. Look at this family now. When the devil comes after you and he's showing out and he's doing something, do you know he will reveal something that he can't do to you? Now, he's coming after you, right? He's coming after you and he's doing all that stuff to you, brother. Sister, are you listening to me? He, he's doing all that stuff to you. And he reveals to himself something that he can't do to you, family. The whole time he's going through with you, so... When he when he appears to you in your life and he and he's showing out and he's doing stuff and he's trying to take your rest or steal your joy or rain on your parade, whatever the case might be, family, whatever it might be, just know that he reveals what he can't do to you, family. It's a beautiful thing, family. It is. If you look at it, you got to understand every time the devil come around you now, since you know me, you're going to get smarter because I'm telling you what he's doing to you. You know what I'm saying? Now, look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Every time this coward come around you, he's going to make you stronger. Straight up. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you because he's going to, he don't, he don't know that he's telling you about himself. I'm the devil. I'm trying to tell you his plan is that, has, 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 don't tell him, don't tell him. I didn't even know that I told him something that I, darn it. I didn't even know. How did you know that, Joe? How did you know that? Listen to me, family. When he come around, has, has, don't tell him, don't tell him. He's going to reveal something that he can't do. So it's like a win-win over here. Okay, now you going through it, but you still going to win after it, family. Because whatever whatever you learn is something detrimental that you really needed to know about him, family. So it's all good. We winning up over here in Yahshua Precious Name. You know what I'm saying? We up over here winning in Yahshua Precious Name. Throw your hands up. I bless you in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, for he is the Lord. Also, we, we call him... Uh, we call him Yahshua. They call him, I, I hate to say it, they call him the Jesus Christ. Oh, they call him Jesus. That's all right. That's all right. One day they're going to wake up. Now, and I'm sorry, family. I'm sorry. I made this whole, whole, I, did I, did I make this whole sit down in the sanctuary? So I might as well go for the full hour, family. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to get into lessons for tonight, family. I'm sorry. I really am, family. I, I really am sorry for that. Let's go ahead and just, uh, since I didn't get to go into lessons for the night, and I just do this off the top of my head, let's go up and go up in one small story of the Bible before I get up off of here for tonight. Let's talk about Bellum, family. Let's bring out, let's bring out Bellum. Let's bring out Bellum out of here. Okay, now, now, you see the dude riding on the donkey. That's, that's Bellaham. Bellaham. Bellahem. Bellahom. Bellahem. Now, family, he a prophet, family, and as I look, as I look at this prophet, and, and, and I ask y'all, and I know he gonna give me the answers and everything, but I asked him like 48 hours ago, and it's just simmering, family, because I don't understand, family. I don't under now. I know the whole story. Don't get me wrong. That's easy, family. But it's underlying things and why, like I don't understand why, why yeah. But then I do know, I do know. So let's go over the story, and I, you tell me what you think. For it, I tell you now. What do we start with Bellum? What do we even start with him? Bellum is a prophet from God. Everybody knew this, but the only the only irrit the, I can't say is the like a like a a, the, a misunderstanding that I have about him is everybody knows that he a prophet, family. Everybody in the region knows that he a prophet. He a prophet, but he's a Midianite family. He's not a he's 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 not an Israelite family. He's a Midianite family. 
And at all these, and at this time, people they they fell to realize that this is right after Noah, family. So all the people are black, family. You know what I'm saying? All of them. This is right after Noah. You know what I'm saying? They they fell to realize that one. They won't tell you that one. So, and they all come from the same family. This family somewhere down the line, family. Now. He was a prophet. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew that Belahem, Belahem, if he cursed you, you're going to be cursed, family. If he blessed you, you're going to be blessed. So he was a real prophet of Yah. Everybody knew that, family. But who was it? It was the King Moloch. It was King Moloch got mad at your people from entering into his land. And he sent for Belahem to come and curse our people, family. Now in the in the process be in the process now God came to him and he told him he and I'm just doing this roughly off my head. I don't got none of this written down, family. I'm just going roughly off my head, family. So excuse me. God came to him and said, Who who is these people? Because Bala kept on sending them all these dignitary and all these fancy people to tell them to come. Oh, come down here. Oh, we need we need you to sit there and we need you to this is the king Bala of the nation. Oh, the Israelites, they came, there's too many of them. Please come curse them. I'll give you anything, anything you want. And and inside of Bellahem heart, he was all like, Well, you know, I take a whole room full of gold. You know what I'm saying? If I come down there and curse them people, I'm gonna be balling. So inside of his heart, family inside of his heart he had that inside of his heart he did i'm gonna just let you know that right now off the top why else would yah threaten him that is a prophet of god and god is trying to kill him family you see that donkey sitting there laying down if that donkey get up and go any closer to that angel that angel is gonna kill the prophet you know what i'm saying he's gonna strike him down dead kill him that in cold family why is that because a belaham has deceit in his heart family he want that gold, family. He okay. The king bullet came to him. He was like, "Man, I give you anything. I make you a great. I dress you up in purple pilot. I dress you up in your purple scarlet. In your purple scarlet, you be the prince. I give you anything you want." And inside of his heart, he thinking in his head, he like, "Man, for real, um, I ain't got nothing over here. I be cursing and blessing people. I don't got no money up out of this. You know what I'm saying? I don't get no family. I'm being blessed right now. I tell you right now, I'm being blessed right now. Hallelujah, just like you are. Put your hands up. You are blessed in the name of Yahshua, precious name, family. He, he this is this is Belahem. Oh man, I ain't bad. I ain't got no money. I, uh, uh, okay, I got a little bit. Uh, I got these servants behind me, but I need some more. That so he set that deceit inside of his heart, family. So Bella kept on sending them dignitary people to come on, please, please come curse these people. So Yah came up to Belahem and told him, Who them people? Who you been talking to? And the Balaam told him, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the king people. He want me to curse the people. So God let him go, family. God let him go with them people. But he said, he said, you can only tell them what I tell you because he had that deceit inside of his heart. He wanted them riches. He wanted them go. So this is why I think y'all want to kill him on the road for it, family. Right before he got, right before. So what happened? What happened? Okay, Bullum, he on the road. Okay, now the donkey, he kneeled down. Bullock get mad at the donkey. Kicked the donkey or something. You know what I'm saying? He kicked the donkey. He like, donkey, man, why is you, man, why is you stopping, man? He get mad at the donkey, you know what I'm saying? He didn't have that donkey for a long time, family. Ever since that donkey was a little, he been riding that donkey ever since that donkey was a little donkey. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have that donkey for a long time. He hit the donkey. Then then God put put the uh words in the donkey mouth. And the donkey asked Balaam, "Man, why you keep on hitting me like this? Why have you done this to me?" And then Balaam said, "I wish I had a sword right now. I'll kill you." I'll kill you right now. You know what I'm saying? I'll kill you. He was a cold man, wasn't he? He was a cold prophet, wasn't he? You know what I'm saying? He was a cold prophet. Why, why would he kill him? Because he felt like the donkey did him wrong by him. Because the first time he came between the rocks and it hit him on the, it hit his leg. It hit, it hit the, the pathway was to where you couldn't turn from right to left either of your side, right? You couldn't turn to any of your side. And the donkey was trying to squeeze along on the side of the road so he wouldn't touch the angel trying to kill him, family. If the angel would have touched him or came close to him, he would have killed him, family. So that the donkey, God put, made the donkey to where he could talk. He put words in the donkey mouth so he could speak. So he, the donkey told him, why you hit me like that, man? Why you do that, man? Why you do me like that, man? 
And Bullam has said, I wish I could kill you right now if I had a if I had a sword. You know what I'm saying? But then at that time, at that time, God opened up Bellaham's eyes and he seen the angel standing in the road with the with the sword about to kill him. And he fell to his knees. When he seen that angel standing in the road, he knew why that donkey kept on turning to the side, not obeying his command, not doing what he wanted him to do, family. And he and the angel told him, the angel told him, if if that donkey wouldn't have had did what it would what it had did, I would have killed you. You know what I'm saying? I would have killed you. So that's that's what the part of the story that confuses me is that angel was really trying to kill Bellaham. He was going because he had deceit in his heart, family. And if the donkey really the donkey saved his life, family, straight up, family. You got the angel right there trying to really trying to kill him, family. But you got to imagine he got these. He's, he, is is it is it like he playing hokey hokey pokey with you before he kill you? Yeah, he is. Family, he playing hokey. Get a little bit closer, and I chop your head off. I strike you down dead. That's how he. That's how he was doing it, family. Let him get a little bit closer, and I kill him. So why did he want to kill him for? Because he had that deceit inside of his heart. He wasn't gonna sit there and tell tell him. What the prophet? He's he wasn't gonna sit there and not curse the people. He was gonna he was gonna try to curse the people. But you can't curse somebody who's being blessed. You can't do it, family. You can't do it at all, family. So Bethlehem, seen the angel for the last time. He dropped to his knees. He told the angel. He said, "Do you want me to turn back around?" You know, what I'm saying the angel let him go along the way, but he told Bethlehem that you can only speak the words that God put inside of your mouth. You can't say anything else. You know what I'm saying? And it took it took for him to see that angel trying to kill him like that for the prophet not to give in to the lust of his own heart, family. Now, this is just a partial of the story. It's just a rough, a rough run through of what happened in the story. But look at what happened, family. The prophet still had lust inside of his heart. You know what I'm saying? He was going to be up there doing foul. Yah already came to him. He told him who them people, what they want you to do. You know what I'm saying? He told them, but he would have been talking foul with them. He would have been talking straight up foul with them if that angel didn't try to kill him on the road. He was trying to get rich. He was trying to ball up over there. But that's not what Yah wanted from him, family, at all. Not even a little bit. So I had to end it with 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 a story. And by saying this, just because just because it's a righteous man of God doesn't mean God won't kill that person. Family. That's a righteous man. But lust God is better of him, family. And God is still trying to kill him for it. Family. That is a chosen. This is a chosen person from God. This is a prophet. Everybody knows he's a prophet, family. If this man, if this man sit up here and curse you, bad things will start happening to you. He's chosen from God. You know what I'm saying? He got he got this anointing that God put on him family all he got to do is start talking but lust can take lust can get at any of us family lust and temptation can get at any of us but that doesn't mean that God just because they got anointed don't mean God won't kill them family doesn't mean that I know that family I know I know for sort certain just because I'm God anointed don't mean God won't tear me up just because I'm anointed by God don't mean he won't kill me, family. He will, family, if I don't do what he's telling me to do, family. I'm no different than Bethlehem, family. I better do what y'all tell me to do or he gonna do something to me, family. I'm not fit to be playing with y'all like that at all, family. Just because a man is chosen from God does not mean that God won't kill him, family. If he not doing what y'all wants him, all we have to do is start slipping, family. All I have to do is have temptation in my heart and lust and be everything that I'm fighting against. And that could happen to me, family. I'm cool off of that, family. But I wanted to show you, family, like, look what I was telling you. Just because just because it's a, a person chosen for God doesn't mean it, he won't go after another person. Look at what I was telling you about Joshua, family. Now, look at this. chose. This man is chosen from God for certain things, and God will still kill him, family. God is not playing with nobody, family. Nobody, family. Not even this prophet's family. He's not now. If he'll kill his prophet on the road. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and people don't think that that y'all don't be striking people down dead. And you got angels waiting everywhere playing hokey, hokey pokey with people to kill them, family. This angel is over there playing hokey pokey with this man on the donkey, family. You know what I'm saying? Playing hokey pokey with him to kill him, family. He don't even know it, family. And so y'all yeah, opened up his eyes and he seen the angel standing in the middle of the road to where the donkey couldn't even go through him. Family, he over here beating this damn poor donkey that can talk, family. The donkey started talking to him. Hey, hey. Why are you hitting on me, man? 
So that's what I'm that's what I'm saying to you, family. Just because people are chosen from God, just because they're anointed from God, they still got to do his will or they will be cursed, family. I know that, family. I know that, family. I know that very well. That's why your brother, I'm not playing with him like that. I'm not playing with your father like that. That's why I keep on trying to tell y'all, family, what I'm doing up over here, family. I'm injecting you with all this love because your, your other brothers out there, they ain't got it, family. It's not even on their mind, family. They ain't even trying to demonstrate it, family. They ain't even trying to put it out, family. Their mind is on something else, family. And don't let don't let me tell you what y'all has to say about them. That's okay. I got to pick up the ball for all of my other brothers who can't, family. I really do with all of this truth and all this knowledge and all this wisdom. wisdom. And I bless all my brothers out there in the name of Yahshua who's doing the same thing, family. Because it's not a lot of us, family. That's a sad thing about us. They choosing to do all them other things, family. They is, family, to get sucked up, sucked right, just suck, just suck back up into the world, family. Straight up, family. I can't do that with you, family. And I love your father so much, family, that he means everything to me, family. And he means everything to family. I be feeling good, family, when I can get inside of my scriptures, family, and get knowledge from him, family, and then integrate that in my life. I told you, he be on my mind, family, all day long, family. We are not to stop, cease praying, family. He supposed to be on your mind all day long, family. That's why I be snitching so much on people, family. Or am I snitching? I'm snitching for them to change their ways. But I told you, family, I, I'll be lying to you if I say it, that I don't ask y'all to knock the taste out of people's mouth, family. Straight up to be doing stuff. All my enemies, family, is y'all's enemies, family. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be a lie to you to sit here and tell you that I don't tell y'all to be doing stuff to them. I do, family, but I do be blessing them at the same time, family. I do, family. Your brother is a triple threat up over here, family. I mean all these things that I'm sitting here telling you, family. They mean every single thing to me, family. For your brother, I'm trying to please him with everything that I am. I'm not like these people that's, that's caught up in this world, family. They just caught up, family. Like a straight up whirlwind, family. And it, and, it, and it's sad, family, that... that okay, now... And them Christian people, they be telling y'all, they be all like, well, just just forgive your sins, forgive, forgive, and, and then they don't even tell you that you, do, you can't do it no more, family. They don't even tell you that, family, because they be rocking with fake Yahshua. And then the, the saddest thing about it is they keep on playing with y'all, and Jesus told you that he's a thief, family. Jesus wants to surprise you with your judgment, family. They tell you that you just go out there and just keep on doing those things. Keep on giving into that world. Just keep on being like that. Just keep on doing all that stuff that you are normally and you be accustomedly doing when Yahshua wants to catch you slipping, family. He wants to catch you doing all of those things so he can judge you on them. I'm just saying, family, it's only... Okay, now. Okay, now. Yah, he only give you so much time. Let, let, let's agree to disagree on something right here. Let's, let's agree to disagree. Okay, now, Yah... He only gives you so much time. Now, Yahshua, he know that. You know what I'm saying? He know that. So he telling you that he going to catch you slipping on them days that you thought that you had. Family, them days you be slipping doing all that evil, you didn't even have no more time behind it because you only have so many days, family. Family, I only got so many days, family. I only got so many years. I only got so many seasons. I only got so many months, family. It's a long time. Yeah, it is. And, and I got more than a whole lot of family. Yeah, I do, family. But... I, with that said, I still don't know when Yahshua going to come through on that. No, I can't say that, family. I can't even say that, family, because I do, family. What do you mean, Jehoshua? What do you mean? I told you. He going to tell you, family. He going to prepare you for your death, family. He is, family. He good to us, family. He be letting us know everything, family. Some people don't believe that. Okay, you don't have to, family. You don't have to. But if you get in good with your father, I'm telling you, he going to let you know, family. So that is not a surprise to me. It's not even. I will know. I do know, family. I I will know, and I will know the time and all of that. And I can't sit up here and act like I won't, family. But them people who don't is not with you spirit. They don't know, family. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? I do know, and I'm not gonna be. I know the time, and I'm not gonna be playing with him. I'm not going. Oh, Yahshua gave me X amount of time, so I'm gonna be messing up all that time. Then on that last twenty years, I'm gonna act right. You gotta be silly, family. You gotta be silly because. All the, all the bad that you do take away your evil. I mean, yeah, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, all the all the bad that you're doing is slowly taking away all that good that you done racked up. 
It is, family. It's taking it away. And taking that away is taking away your life, family. So, so what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to here to have all this goodness behind me and then slip and start taking it away? Nah. See, that's what that that's what them fake people be teaching you to do. They be teaching you that you got more time on your hands and you don't know. You know what I'm saying? If you if you was really with Yah, you would know how much time you have. You would know, family. You would know, family. Give or take around that time, family. Around that time. Why would you know for? Because he wants to reassure your mind. He wants to reassure your mind of certain different things, family. And that's one of the things that he wants to reassure your mind and that you got some time, family. He don't want you he don't want you thinking that you just ain't got no life like that, family. He doesn't, family. He wants you to know that you have life, trusting in him, believing in him, honoring him, respecting him, family. Now, it's so much more that I can get into tonight, family, but your brother, I didn't have a long day, family, and I didn't even get a chance to get into, I didn't even really get a chance to get into lectures and to, to ministering and to preaching to you tonight, family. I'm sorry, family. My bad, family. You know what I'm saying? It's just that, you know what I'm saying, relationships have been on my mind for some reason today, family. It, it, it really has, family. That's why, I, that's why I had to go so hard on different people, family. You know what I'm saying? To open up their minds that they wasting their time messing with them people like that. You know what I'm saying? They got to get real. I'm their big brother. I could tell them how it is. You know what I'm saying? They be listening to their fake brothers and sisters and they just have them going crazy, doing the same damn cycle all over it again. If he, if he not a sorry Tyrone, he a sorry Mike. You know what I'm saying? If he not a sorry Mike, then he a sorry John. It's the same damn cycle. You know what I'm saying? And that goes two times for my brother if it's a sorry lisa then it's a sorrier tyreen you know what i'm saying that goes two times for them they know i'm not playing with them family but your brother your brother i love my people all children of god i love y'all you know what i'm saying y'all my people you know what i'm saying it is my job family i told you family it's so it's, it's sad out here family it really is family i told you family what's gonna happen y'all don't believe me better you better start holding on to what they saying to you family I told you, family, you, uh, some people is giving you the truth right in your face, and it's so hard for people to comprehend it, you know what I'm saying, or even accept it, hold on, you told me that before it happened, I told you, you know what I'm saying, I told you, what you gonna do with that, you know what I'm saying, what you, what is you gonna do with that, is you gonna play ball, you know what I'm saying, or are you just gonna be on the sidelines, and just let, let them people come and kick you in your face, which one you want, family, is you gonna be protected, family, they, they give you all the bullets, they gave you the gun, and you just threw it in the garbage can, family, what do you want, family, what do you want, family, but this has been your brother Jehoshiah Israel in the sanctuary. Shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who will be coming to the 9 o'clock prayer hour. We do this from Sunday night all the way to the Sabbath night. Come get yourself some. Magnify, glorify, edify your father. Be grateful for what he has done. Be grateful for who he is. Be grateful for what he does. Tell him how magnificent he is. Tell him about his strong hands that be out in this world, family, that be that be protecting tonight. You know what I'm saying? Tell him about his hands, family. That's what I want you to tell him about tonight, family. All my brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, at night, I want you to tell him about his hands of protection his hands of mercy his hands of grace his hands of compassion his hands of saving that's got his hands wrapped across this whole world that will be saving all these people tonight that will be blocking a lot of all of this bad stuff from happening to them his lifting hands to lift these people up his saving hands i want you to talk about how great your father's hands is tonight at this nine o'clock prayer hour i want you to sing to your father hallelujah i want you to get intimate with your father i want you to say prayers on the bed behalf of all these people that you see trapped up out here in the street that did not get a chance to make it through what you made it through family say prayers on the behalf of them for they need your strength family now i thank all my brothers who have spent the time with your brother jehoshiah israel in the sanctuary and we'll be back family next time we'll be back with some some actually uh ministering to, and preaching to you family i'm sorry family i'm sorry family your brother, I, I kind of went out on a tangent on this one. I'm sorry, family. I'm sorry. But peace and blessings be upon you all. This has been your brother, Jehoshiah Israel, in the sanctuary. Thank you for spending time with your brother. I love you, but love your father. If you say that you love me, love your father even more. Peace and blessings be to you in Yeshua, precious name, for he is our Lord. All glory given to Yah.